our message to the enemy is that Marine Corps artillery will continue to adapt, and even though you may not know it, we're out there. So to start the exercise, 3rd Battalion, 12th Marines had 1-1 ODA and 3rd Recon conduct a joint jump into the training area where they then started scouting out hide positions for our launchers, the FDC, as well as our LAD and security elements. Once 1-1 ODA and 3rd Recon finished reconnoitering the island and we had inserted VSC-130, they conducted a battlefield turnover with the High Mars Platoon Commander on the ground. We then pushed into the high positions that they had located for us and began concealing ourselves so that once enemy elements had inserted on the island, we would be able to effectively hide. Once we were in place, the MU inserted a recon element that consisted of both Marine Corps recon and Navy Special Warfare. The purpose of the Muse recon element was to reconnoiter the island and see if they could pick up on any signatures that our forces had left in order to better prepare their assault forces that were going to be coming. Once the Muse recon element had finished reconnoitering the island, they inserted their assault force with the goal of seizing key maritime terrain. In turn, giving us the ability to test our tactics, techniques, and procedures for concealment against the living, breathing enemy. This exercise was important because not only did it provide us a joint unit level training opportunity, but it also allowed us to see how to operate in the EABO context as a standard.